Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy or FDIR is used for the identification of organic, inorganic, and polymeric materials utilizing infrared light for scanning the samples. Alterations in the characteristic pattern of absorption bonds clearly indicate a change in the material composition. FDIR is useful in identifying and characterizing unknown materials, detecting contaminants in a material, finding additives, and identifying decomposition and oxidation. A schematic diagram of FDIR spectrometer is depicted in this figure. A typical FDIR spectrometer includes a source, sample cell, detector, amplifier, analog to digital converter, and a computer. Radiation from the sources reach the detector after it passes through the interferometer. The signal is amplified and converted to a digital signal by the analog to digital converter and amplifier, after which the signal is transferred to the computer when the, uh, the Fourier transform is carried out. Infrared radiation of about 10,000 to 100 per centimeter is sent through the sample with part of the radiation absorbed and some passing through. The radiation is absorbed in, is converted by the sample to vibrational or rotational energy. The resultant signal obtained at the detector is, uh, is a spectrum generally from 4,000 to 400 per centimeter, which represents the sample's molecular fingerprint. Every molecule has a unique fingerprint which makes FDIR an invaluable tool for the chemical identification. In this figure, you can see the FDIR spectrum of titanium dioxide nanoparticles. The transmission spectra were measured in the range of 4400 to 450 per centimeter with a resolution of 2 per centimeter. In the FDIR spectra, the wide peak near 3400 per centimeter is associated to the hydroxyl bonds and is related to the surface absorbed water. The bond at 1600 per centimeter is related to the hydrogen oxygen hydrogen bonds. The strong peak in the frequency region of 450 and 800 per centimeter is related to the titanium oxygen bond and indicates the formation of titanium dioxide. Peaks between uh, 2840 and 3000 per centimeter are due to carbon hydrogen stretching vibration of alkane groups. This figure shows FDIR spectrum of titanium dioxide silica mix oxide nanoparticles. The absorption peak at 40, 480 per centimeter is attributed to titanium oxygen bind. The absorption peak between 1000 and 1200 is related to silicon oxygen bond and the absorption peak at 970 per centimeter is attributed to titanium oxygen silicon bond. The peaks around 3400 and 1600 are assigned to hydroxyl group and hydrogen oxygen hydrogen bonds respectively and peaks between 2840 and 3000 per centimeter are due to carbon hydrogen stretching vibration of alkane group.
In the next video, I'll discuss X-ray diffraction or XRD analysis. And I will show you XRD pattern of the diff different nanoparticles. And I'll uh, analyze the XRD patterns. I will also use the De Bacherer equation to calculate crystalline size of nanoparticles. If this is your first time here and you want to learn material characterization techniques, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching this video.